Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing how to sketch the graph of a circle. Let's now have the following objectives in today's topic. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to Letter A. Determine the center and radius of a circle given its equation. Letter B. Graph a circle on the coordinate plane. And Letter C. Appreciate the use of equation of a circle in finding solution to real-life problems and decision-making. These are the steps on how to sketch the graph of the equation of a circle. The first one is to make sure that the equation is written in center radius form. The next one is to get the center and the radius of the circle. The third one is to plot the center point and the radius points on the coordinate plane. And the last step is to connect the dots to the graph of the circle with a round smooth curve. Let's have our first example. Find the center and the radius of the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 4, then sketch the graph. The first step is to convert the equation in center radius form. So the center radius form of x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 is x squared plus y squared is equal to 2 to the second power since 4 is a perfect square. And then after we convert it in center radius form, the next step is to find the center of the circle. Since the value of h and k of the equation is equal to 0, then the center is at the origin which has a coordinates of 0, 0. And the value of the radius is equal to 2 units. And then after that, we will now sketch the graph. We will construct the x-axis which is the abscissa and the y-axis which is the ordinate. And then after that, we will plot the center point which is located at the origin which is at the coordinate 0, 0. And then after that, we will get the radius points. So to get the four radius points, we will count out two in every direction since the value of the radius is equal to two units. Starting from the center or the origin, going to the left, going to the right, going upward, and going downwards. That will be the process on how to compute the radius points. So let's start first at the right side. So we have one unit, two units. So the first radius point is at the coordinate 0, 2. And then going upward, so one unit, two units. So the radius points is at the coordinates 2, 0. And then going to the left, 1, 2. So the coordinates is negative 2, 0. And then going downward, so we have 1, Two. So the coordinates is at 0, negative 2. So these are the four radius points. And then the last step is to draw a curve connecting the four radius points of a circle to form a circle. So this will be the sketch of the graph of the equation of the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. Let's have our second example. Find the center and the radius of the circle, the quantity x minus 2 to the second power plus the quantity y plus 1 to the second power equals 9. Then sketch the graph. So the first step is to make sure that the equation of the circle is in center radius form. So we will convert this equation in center radius form. So the equation will be the quantity x minus 2 to the second power plus the quantity y plus 1 to the second power equals 3 to the second power. Since 9 is a perfect square, it will become 3 to the second power. And then after that, we will now get the center of the circle. Since the sign of this one is negative, we will change the sign to get the value of h. So negative 2, it will become positive 2. And then after that, to get the value of k, we will again change the sign of this one. Positive 1, it will become negative 1. 
So the coordinates of the center of the circle is at 2, negative 1. And then after that, the value of the radius will be equal to 3 units. And then after that, we will now sketch the graph. We will construct the x-axis or the abscissa and the y-axis which is the ordinate. And then we will plot the center point of the circle which is located at the coordinates to negative 1. So we have 1, 2, and then negative 1 going downward. So this will be the center point of the circle. And then after that, to get the four radius points, we will count out three units in every direction. Starting from the center of the circle, going to the right, from the center going to the left, from the center going upward, and from the center going downward. So let's start at the right. So we will count 1, 2, 3. So this will be the first radius point. The coordinates will be 5, negative 1. Then going upward, we will count 3 units again. 1, 2, 3. So this will be the second radius point. The coordinates will be 2, 2. And then after that, going to the left, we will count again 3 units. 1, 2, 3. So the coordinates will be negative 1, negative 1. And then going downward, we will count again 3 units, 1, 2, 3. So the coordinates will be 2, negative 4. So this will be the 4 radius points of the circle. And then the last step is to draw a curve connecting these 4 radius points to form a circle. Therefore, this will be the graph of the circle with the equation quantity x minus 2 to the second power plus the quantity y plus 1 to the second power equals 9. Let's have our last example. Find the center and the radius of the circle x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 8y plus 9 equals 0. Since the equation is written in general form of the equation of the circle, we must convert it first in center radius form. So to do that, let's just rewrite first the general equation. And then after that, we will bring down x squared and then followed by negative 6x, followed by positive y squared, and then followed by positive 8y, then positive 9, we will transpose it to the other side of the equation, it will become negative 9. And then after that, we will perform completing the square. We will write open parentheses here, followed by x squared, followed by negative 6x, and then we will provide a space here, and then close parentheses plus bring down y squared and then plus 8y and then again provide a space here equals negative 9 and then after that to get the missing term or the third term we will get the numerical coefficient of the second term which is negative 6 and then we will divide it by 2 negative 6 divided by 2 will be equal to negative 3 and then we will square the answer so negative 3 times negative 3 or negative 3 to the second power is equal to positive 9 and then we will repeat the process we will get the numerical coefficient of the second term which is equal to positive 8 we will divide it by 2 8 divided by 2 will be equal to 4 and then we will square the number 4 to the second power or 4 times 4 is equal to positive 16. And then after that, whatever number we write in this side of the equation, we will also write it in this side of the equation too. So we have negative 9 plus 9 plus 16. And then after that, since this is a perfect square trinomial, we will get its factor. So we will just get the square root of x squared which is equal to positive x. And then to get the value of the second term, we will get the square root of the third term. So square root of positive 9 will be equal to positive 3. And then we will get the sign of the second term, which is negative. So the answer will be the quantity of x minus 3 to the second power. Plus, we will repeat the process, get the square root of y squared. So that will be equal to y. And then we will get the square root of 16, that will be positive 4. And then we will get the sign of the second term, which is positive. So the answer will be quantity y plus 4 to the second power. 
and then we will add negative 9 plus 9 will be equal to 0 0 plus 16 will be equal to 16 and then since 16 is a perfect square we will get its square root square root of 16 is equal to 4 then we will square the number so 4 to the second power so this will be the central radius form the quantity x minus 3 to the second power plus the quantity y plus 4 to the second power equals 4 to the second power and then after that we can now easily get the center and the radius of the circle since this one is negative 3 to get the value of h we will just change the sign negative 3 it will become positive 3 this one is positive 4 it will become negative 4 the value of k so the value of the center has a coordinates of positive 3 negative 4 and the radius is equal to 4 units after we have compute for the center and the radius of the circle, we can now sketch the graph. We will now construct the x-axis or the abscissa, y-axis which is the ordinate, and then after that, we will plot the center of the circle. The center is at the coordinates positive 3, negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. This one. So 3, negative 4. And then after that, to get the radius points, we will count 4 units in every direction starting from the center of the circle going to the right, from the center of the circle going to the left, from the center of the circle going upward, and from the center of the circle going downward. So we will count 4 units, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this one will be the coordinates. So the coordinates will be at 7, negative 4. And then after that, count again 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. The coordinates is at point 3, 0. And then again, count 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. The coordinates is at negative 1, negative 4. And then the last one, count again 4 units. The coordinates of the radius point is 2, negative 8. And then after that, we will now draw a curve connecting the four radius points of the circle. Therefore, this will be the sketch of the graph of the equation of the circle x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 8y plus 9 equals 0.